with another video. Boom. Okay, so as you're watching this video, I am most likely sitting in school, crying, ready to go home. Because I did start school this week on Monday, the 11th, and um, yeah. This is pre-recorded, but I'm already... I'm already ready to cry. I'm already ready to cry. So, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so, um... So, this week's video is going to be about... School. It's gonna be about school, and I'm going to share some advice with you guys and some tips. Or I might kill it. Oh. We don't know. Let's wait to the end of the video and see. Will you guys have advice and tips? Or will my parents be by and get me home? Alright. Let's get right on. So, I'm going to be giving advice on people in high school because we all know that's when things change. So, I'm myself in the 11th grade. I'm a junior. I don't know what they call it, wherever you're watching it from, but I know where I am, they call it juniors. In the 11th grade, that means I have one more grade to go, which is the 12th grade, and I'll be a senior. And then I will be done with high school after my senior year. And then I go off to college. So, perfect. Okay. First, we're going to start off with freshman year. Freshmen here are the ninth graders. And, um, yeah, I know a lot of people starting off as freshmen, they're, like, really nervous and scared because it's their first year of high school. And they don't know what's going to happen. And they're just, like... They're freaking out and freaking out because they're going to be in the school with a whole bunch of other upperclassmen. And, yeah, so they're, they're kind of nervous, a lot of nervous. Here's my advice to the freshmen. One, go to class. But you being ninth graders, all eyes are already on you. Not even going to, you know, try to stop it. But, you know, make sure you get to all your classes and you don't be one of the hall walkers and stuff because ninth grade year is your year to make an impression on the teachers and everything. If you get noted as a hall walker or a skipper or stuff like that, yeah, it's gonna kill you with you. Okay, another thing is do all of your work. In high school, teachers do not care if you turn in your work or not. Because honestly, they don't care about it, like, as much as people did in middle school. They're not going to have to be like, okay, get your work done, get your work done, get your work done. No, no, no. They have so many students and so many different classes. They're honestly not going to care if you turn your work in. Because the way they look at it, it's just one less paper to write. So, if you don't show up to class, then they won't, like, honestly care like yeah you might get rolled up for skipping but they're like they're not going to care if you don't turn your work in they're not going to care if you don't do your work because there's so many students that they have they're just going to be like okay whatever you don't want to do your work i'm not going to make you do your work they're not going to make you turn your work in if you forget to turn your work in you forget to turn your work in because they're not going to keep on pushing you to do it you may have that one nice old teacher's I'm like oh don't forget to turn your work in but you're also going to have a lot of teachers that's going to be like well, look, I got other stuff to do. I got other papers to grade. If they don't want to turn their work in, then they don't have to turn their work in. Take it for personal experience. I was so lost why. I'm like, why aren't they reminding us about turning their work in? It didn't hit me until my progress report started coming out. Like, my first progress report, I was like, okay. Okay. So, something I recommend, get a planner. This goes out for the freshmen and the sophomores and the juniors. If you're a senior, especially then, get a planner to write down all your assignments, your tests, and stuff like that. Like if you gotta buy your locker, put that down. You know, if you don't want to get a planner, something I do is I would use my calendar on my phone or I would use my um 
you can download a planner app. So if you were like more into electronic, then then um you know download onto your phone. But if you like the physical copy, then I really do advise you get a planner or at least a paper in your binder that's like the first paper or in the little clear plastic thing. Just write it down. It is you have to remember these certain things. Okay, um, if you're in the 10th, 11th, or 12th grade, even the 9th grade I'm here now, um, you really, 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 really have to focus on your work. You have to focus on getting to class on time. And if you're absent and stuff, you have to make sure you have excuses. Because if you want to go to college, college really do look at those grades and your track record is what we call them, like your record. So what do you think? Would a college want someone with good grades, always found their way to class and stuff, was never suspended or anything, had good notes all in their folders, or want someone with D's and F's, had more tardies in the world should allow, never came to school, got suspended whenever they did come to school. It's like, I think they want. Okay. Some more advice is be yourself. Um, something that myself have like something I've learned in high school myself is that uh, be yourself. Something I've learned from personal experience and what I saw. There were people I talked to in eighth grade that when I got to ninth grade year. It was like, damn, 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 damn. What did summer do to you? It's they people change so much throughout high school. It's either they're finding out who they are or they're revealing who they are to work. It's like they are constantly changing and you're watching them change and you're just like, wow. So um don't go into high school trying to be someone else. Make sure you be yourself because the people that try to be something else will have it so much harder in high school. So much harder. I'm telling you, there are people out there that will just look for certain little things to pick with. And if they find something in you, they will pick with you about that. Okay. Something else is they're in high school. It's not a high school musical. You know, we're not going to jump on lunch tables and we're not going to sing songs. You're not going to have Sharpay doing that whole Fabulously, there will be girls there trying to be Sharpe, but Sharpe won't be there. Um, drama and mess is gonna happen a lot, and one thing that I advise is to stay out of it because if you see mess going on, the most thing, like the most important thing I can tell you is to stay out of it. In high school, mess can go on for so freaking long. It can go on from you as a ninth grade to freaking your high school reunion if you allow it to. Um, there are girls and there are guys out there that live for the mess and drama. So honestly, even if they're just bored in school and they have nothing to do, they will find someone to pick with to call this in. So try, like, make sure you avoid all the mess in high school. And if you're hanging out with someone that's like mess addicted, no one says you have to be friends with them. I understand that like you would want to, but you have to look at it like if you get in trouble with a lot of stuff, you don't need that. Honestly, you're at school to learn. You're not at school to make friends. You want to you know make something out of yourself. So avoid the mess and avoid the people that are causing the mess. Even if you have to keep it yourself, that's what you gotta do to go, you know. High school, you can say it's all fun and games, but eventually somebody gets hurt. And let's just make sure you're not that person. <clears throat> and if you are being bullied, let me tell you a secret to this. This is what I do. If you're being bullied, like mentally with their words, this is why I tell myself. Just as I am saying these words to you, I'm saying one word at a time that forms a sentence. But my sentence is not hurting you. There's could be using, you know, curse words and stuff. They're literally saying one word at a time, but it forms a sentence, and that sentence is just shit. 
So just look at it, they're just like saying a sentence. It's a retarded sentence, but a bully always wants to get a reaction out of you. And if you give them that reaction, then they will feed off of it and they will want more. If you don't react, they're gonna get bored and they're gonna go find something else to do. Don't react on it. Don't say nothing back to them. Just smile at them and like, say something like that. Shay, you're a stupid bitch. Thank you. You're so sweet. You know, you're the bomb. You're the bomb. Talk to you later. Bye, dog. Smile and say okay. Go through it with a smile. And you'll be your dog. Okay, um, freshmen, if you're a freshman, if you're a ninth grader or something like that, I guess ninth graders are freshmen everywhere. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, if you're worried about getting picked on by the upperclassmen because you're like fresh meat, there will be some people that do that. But then, you know, you could also be friends with upperclassmen. Like, the first week of school is probably when upperclassmen notice the freshmen the most because they're fresh meat. Like, yeah. But, um, just ignore it. It's just, I don't know, it's stupid. So, you know, I say so, you know, so much. I bet someone at home just writing down on this paper how many times I say so, you know. Um, my dad always tells me high school is important, but college is important. So, that's, if you need someone to talk to, you can tweet me or comment below. But for me, someone I always talk to when I'm just like, I've had enough and I've talked to my dad. He's literally the smartest person in the world. And he tells me it was right and he was wrong. And if it wasn't for him, I guarantee like I would have lost my mind by now. I would have let everything get to me. And I'm not even gonna lie, I would like I probably won't even finish high school. That's how bad it can get sometimes, but you know, I stop letting people get to me. I let like I go through high school laughing and joking and smiling the whole time because those people that do want to get me out, it's like you're not gonna do it. I hope whatever I said in this video helped you even a little bit. And if you would like for me to do more school like videos or school tips or something or experience in high school, even though I'm high school, just comment down below what you want to see. Tweet me this video at underscore love Shay and I will retweet it and I'll follow you. And yeah, thanks for watching this video. Advice, tips, video. I will see you guys next Wednesday with another video. And once again, if you have any video requests, leave it down in the video box below. And one thing in the comments is tell me if you're going to high school, what are you expecting or what are you most nervous about? Or if you're in high school, what are you expecting? What are you most like? Just comment down below. Or if you're going to high school, let me know. Let me know. You a chick chat and we next. Alright guys, um, I have to go because um little do you know I pre-record this on a Sunday, so then I'm gonna go to school tomorrow. So I'm gonna go procrastinate right quick. Alright, alright. Bye guys, see you next week, say in.